Hey guys, now this is a new weapon which is going to be onto the website. This is the Vulcan ASL Plus Whiskey. Um, these are going to be a very budget friendly uh, new sort of beginner to even intermediate rifle. Um, they are under £200 and they have fully upgraded internals. So. The idea behind me putting these on the website, I've had a few people come to me and say that they are going to buy the first gun they don't know what to get. So I have got these in so I can answer that question straight away and just say, get one of these. I'm going to be doing a FPS um, on point two and then set the hop on two fives and see what sort of range I'm going to get. I'm not going to show that in the video, but you'll be able to see the, uh, the FPS at least. So this is what you get in the box. You get obviously the rifle, you get a couple of M-lock rail sections and a high cap mag, which I believe hold the 300 rounds in them. So there's more than enough there. You get a unjamming rod as well. So if you get any uh, BB stuck in the barrel, that's what you get. And then obviously the main article is the gun. You also get a instruction manual, um, which they give you a 90 day warranty on the gun so you can um, register it online and then get some warranty on it as well. So, gives you all the uh, bump in it of warnings and batteries you should use, shouldn't use, and random bits and bobs. You get even guidelines on so, um, what not to do, which is a good one for new players. Um, you also get um, just instructions of how to put your battery into the gun um, and sort of, you know, all that fun stuff because that's something that, you know, if you get this gun, you don't know how to actually put a battery in it. Um, batteries aren't included with these guns, so you will have to buy them separately. Just keep that in mind. Uh, it also gives you um, tips on how to adjust your hop, which, if you don't know, is how you make your BB go far. Um, it's how you put backspin on it, but it also sort of gives you a, a description of what's right and what's wrong when you are setting your hop. Now you should set your hop onto the weight that you are using. Um, also shows you mag, you know, how to put it in your gun, safe, your shooting mode, so you've got your safe, your semi and your full auto, battery wiring, it, bat wiring uh, motor wiring, if there's a blown fuse, where you can sort of diagnostics, bit of troubleshooting. So really, really good. Um, that they give you all this information. It even shows you how to take apart your gun to get to the spring if you want to upgrade the power. And um, this section applies for the plus model, so that is what we have got here. So that comes in it. Really, really good. Really, really helpful for obviously the new players out there, which again, I, I'm saying that this is aimed toward. Um, so looking at the gun, we have full. Uh, nylon fiber receiver um, so it's nice and it's got a decent weight in all fairness to it it actually feels substantial in your hand um, trying not to say that's what she said on that one uh, we've got a ambidextrous fire selector so you've got one on both sides and they are very positive snappy so you know which fire mode and when you've got it in there so that's really good. We've got a ambidextrous uh, magazine release. So one on both sides, obviously. Uh, 13 inch rail section, which obviously you get these M-lock rails to be able to put um, an attachment on it if you wish, but it also comes with a uh, 20 mil Picatinny rail here and one at the front. Um, and then also obviously you've got a huge one along the top if you want to put any optics on it. The gun itself i don't know actually how much it weighs but as i say it's got a, a decent um weight to it so it doesn't feel light or cheap or anything it's all solid and sturdy which is really really good um on the optic side of things we have lovely little fiber sight so when you are looking down you can use the fiber sights instead of uh popping it up it also has the obviously the standard pop-up sections so you can just pop up if you want to and uh, alternatively, you can unscrew that 
and take them off entirely and just run a red dot if you want to purchase one separately. Um, so from the external's point of view, that's pretty much it. You get a nice little uh, little flash hider there, which looks pretty cool. And then if we go into the back, obviously in the instruction manual it shows you how to take this plate off if you want to put a battery into it. But I can show you do it if I just squeeze them two little tabs there. So if I push that back in, there's two little tabs, one on each side, and you just give them a squeeze and it pops off. That shows you your battery terminal. Now it recommends to use a 7.4 or a 9.6 volt uh, NIM battery. So I have got a LiPo. So um, I do have some other batteries floating around the place, but I don't know where they are um, and I haven't prepared them. So I'm just gonna have to use one of these and then it, it won't do any, anything to it. So we've got a mini Tamiya um, slot for the battery. So when you are buying your battery, make sure it's got one of these, a mini Tamiya connector. Um, so that'll just push on there and then make sure it's all the way clipped in and that will make your gun live. So not going to mag in it, nothing in it. The mag is still in the box, which is here. So if I just give it a couple of shots so you can hear what it sounds like in semi. Sounds really, really nice. Really like positive shot uh, on full auto. It's got a decent fire rate on it. And it sounds very, like, as I say, a positive. Doo -doo -doo. So sounds really, really nice. So what I'm going to do now, pause the video, put a couple of shots through the chrono, and then uh, come back with the results. Okay, so as you can see there, we've got 334, 330, and then 301 all the way through to the final shot of 304, 304, and then 298. So if you discount the first two, um, we can say that because it's not been shot, the bucket needed to settle or the hop, um, you know, needed a, a, a shunt into place or something because then after that you know this this 301 is really consistent that's on 0 0.20 gram bb so there's plenty of power in there for the rifle so now what i'm going to do uh, as i say i'm just going to go put some um two five gram bbs in it see what sort of range we're getting and then we can sort of close out with the final thoughts so unfortunately today it was a bit windy so i couldn't get a full uh range sort of consistently accurate um, range call out but i'll say in all fairness it's about 50 plus meters because that's all i could really see without it going so far which out the box for a very well, a very very cheap um rifle is very very good so these you cannot go wrong with i would honestly say when i say 50 meters plus it will probably be hitting 60 meters and um, I wouldn't say consistently, we'll say consistently 50 meters, but as I say, until I can get it on a proper range, I can't say. Um, it was just far too windy today for me to get an accurate reading, but very, very good. Our out of the box, mint, cannot complain with it in the slightest. These come with a uh, fully upgraded internal, so that's metal gears, um, an upgraded motor, it's got an anodized precision in a barrel, low resistance wiring, 6mm V2 gearbox and a anti-reversal latch access, which 9 out of 10 people won't even know what that is or need to know. Um, just one thing that I will show you. So um, obviously on the box, if you can see it there, it shows all of that information. So you've got your ambidextrous trigger and um, mag and fire selector, pro match trigger, billet style, receiver because it's nylon um metal gears 90 day limited worry warranty a rotary hop up which the rotary rotary hop up itself 
is actually very, very nice. Um, it's got a like click to it. Um, and then you can see all the other information there. So on the other side, what you have to do, if you want to adjust your hop, you pull back your charging handle and it releases your wheel. And there is also a guide. It says up. Um, so putting hop, if you want to put your hop up, you pull, um, pull it up. If you want to put it down, you lower it. So that's really handy because not a lot of guns ha actually have that in there. So that's really, really nice. But all around, really, really good guns. I'm made up with it. It shot lovely. It sounds nice as well. It's really nice and quiet. And uh, for under £200 to your door, you cannot go wrong. So have a look on the website. If you want to get hold of one, uh, let me know. We've got one in stock currently because uh, one's already spoken for, but get on them. These are really, really good guns. Um, I, as I say, I only got one in currently, but if you want me to get any more, let me know. I'll order a load more. So thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, take care.